Greetings and welcome back everyone to the town of Dapperton and of course to Rimworld. Now the very first thing that I'm going to be doing in this episode is naming Mitch. Let's see, where is your name? How do I rename you? I forget. Uh, is it in character? Yes, it is. There we go. Right, a Michael Everson Shaw from henceforth be known as Airworthy. Wurgy? No, Worthy. There we are. Welcome to the fort, where you're going to be worked until your fingers are raw. I'm sorry, but it's true. It needs to be done. All right, let's hope that Keegan is doing okay now. He's mostly treated. Let's get Bad Blanket treated next, please. Super high priority as well. Oh, colonists aren't too amazingly happy, and I can understand why. This isn't a great time for anyone. Now, let's uh, let you guys get out there, do some work. Bad Blanket, do you need help? No, you're okay. Archibald, do you need help? Yes, you do. Go rest until healed, please. Alright, Ewerty, we're going to need you to prioritize treating Archibald. Well, of Tara, how are you doing? Oh, you're not doing well. Fair play, Willow of Terror. You are doing your best to try and uh, treat people, but you are bleeding everywhere. Okay, Willow of Terror, rest until heal, please. Keegan, I want you to prioritize treating Willow of Terror. Wow, that was rough. That was like crazy, crazy rough. Okay, let's uh, speed up time. That could have gone a hell of a lot better. Keegan, did you just go to bed instead of treating you scoundrel, you? I can't believe it. Why are you all such undapper sods? Right, now you guys we actually want to strip simply because you're likely to be carrying some good gear on you. Uh, the ape men usually come here with some decent weapons. Let's uh, make sure we select everything to be picked up and strip everyone. I'm not going to help you, I'm sorry, but you made this bed, you are going to lie in it. Right, okay, Willow of Terror, pretty horrible mood, and that's completely understandable. Right, to me, you need your weapon, so go grab your sniper rifle. How's Shadow Wolf doing? Uh, you're okay. You're not, you're really not. Sorry, but no, not happening, not helping you. You don't deserve it. Oh, well done. Getting all of the conduits set up. And of course, unfortunately, we did lose an yet another weapon system. Let's get that replaced. Okay, well, I would love it if these people were actually just, like, hauled off and, and helped, but not happening anytime soon. Now we really need to clean this place up because... Obviously, we don't want blood just everywhere in the hospital. There are very good reasons why this is a bad thing. Uh, you're not one of our primary cleaners, I know, but... Willow of Terror is healed. I'm very thankful for that. And I think it's pretty much the whole room cleaned. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, right, well. Do we have the mining order down here? Yes, we do. And Bad Blanket is working on it. Right, combat supply. To me, it's need this sorted let's get down here okay we can sell the pump shotgun no actually we kind of need that right now i would love to buy many of these awesome things but uh it doesn't look like we're going to be however your medicine is extremely tempting at that price i can afford to take 10. there we go all right okay Things should slowly get back in order at this point. Right, there we go. Well done, Tamiz. Let's make sure that the uh, prisoners don't die of starvation. That would kind of suck. And generally speaking, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh, dear. Gone berserk. Really? You went... <laughs> Why? <laughs> you fool! Thank you very much for rescuing them. They don't deserve it, but thank you. I wouldn't mind if someone could uh, take that one out. 
Now, we may not be able to get these. Um, 99, 99, 99. May actually be easier for us to just... I don't know. I'd like to try, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to. I'm really not sure. Right, who's in a terrible mood? Well, what do you expect? You had a fist fight with an elephant, dude. That was so remarkably dumb, I'm not even sure how to explain it to you. If you don't already know why that was dumb, then you probably will never understand. Archibald, please don't shoot anyone who's trying to, you know, move around there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we need more meat, I think. Alright. Now then, we've got the heater in here, so that means we can go ahead and deconstruct this for now. And instead... Hope, well, actually, no. Don't deconstruct that until we've definitely got everything we need. Right, instead what we'll do is we'll set up a new zone, a new growing zone in here all the way along. This will be for hay grass and shall be renamed Fodder 2. I think this one should be named... Oh, no, this one hasn't been named. Okay. Okay. There we go. And finally, we need to tell this area not to have any roofs. There we go. Right, hopefully we'll be able to get all of that rolling and our animals will start to uh, do well for themselves. Right, there we go. Some people are starting to do a little bit of growing. Archibald, are you our primary gr grower? You're a hunter, grower, plant cutter, hauler. It's just that you've been so busy lately. I think that's part of the problem. Uh, we'll see. I think we need some more people working on that, though. Perhaps if we increase... I mean, you've got a fairly large desire to work on that, so maybe it would be worth getting you in there. Now, I'm going to hopefully get these bodies buried. In fact, we really do need them buried, otherwise they're just going to very quickly upset everyone. So let's uh, get all of this done and then I think we can go ahead and bury them. Bury Frederick. Bury Izzles. Uh, well, I bury Frederick. There we go. Then strip this fella. We've got some shields here which I'm very happy to see. And once again. There we go. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Once again, you scoundrel, you. Probably shouldn't have had the same person do it. Oh, really? You've picked a fight with Keegan? Ah, oh, you dummy. Fine. Uh, could you... Could you not... Oh, too, too late. I've told you to do it with this. I mean, if you... I'm sorry, I'm not going to protect you. You've picked a fight with one of our best melee combatants who's armed with a giant knife. You brought this on yourself. Truly you did. There we go. But clearly I need someone else to deal with all of the burying. There we go, that's what I needed to see. No, no, bury. We need these people buried so badly. Uh, let's have Bad Blanket, would you take care of that for me? I'd be deeply in your debt if you would. Now we've got three shields. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. In many, many ways. All right, Shadow Wolf, I would like you to have a shield. Now, let's have a look at this. Personal shield, normal quality. Um, go ahead and take the shoddy one since it's fairly close to being finished. Now, I'd also like to see what kind of weapons have we got. We've got a Good Steel Gladius. Good Steel Longsword. Uh, yeah, sure, go. Go ahead and equip a Good Steel Longsword. Also, equip some body armor. There we go. Got a pirate merchant nearby. Well, <laughs> guys. I mean, I really don't know if you're ever going to be useful to me. Terrible mood. Well, again, you kind of bring this on yourself. I'm sorry, but it's true. I would like you... Have a look at this. 
It's a very good looking shield there. Keegan, I'd like you to as a priority go equip that for me. You've currently got a Plasteel Gladius and I suspect that that is much better than anything else you could get. Uh, right, Jitamiz. Let's get you up here. I mean, what clan are you from? Cliff people. I could probably restore relations with the cliff people by releasing them. But look at how much they're worth. <sighs> we could make a lot of money from that. But I strongly suspect it would very greatly upset pretty much everyone. I could, with these guys, probably put the Great Cliff people right back up. Okay, you know what? Release. Barra, you shall be released. Gazelle? Hmm. You're incapable of laughing, you're incapable of social. They probably don't want you back, Gazelle. Except. Thank you very much for the for the f money. You're not going to be happy now. Experiencing acute pain and a prison of salt. Well, it does suck to be them. It's true, but oh, there we go. Okay, things slightly better, but we are going to need a new bedroom as a matter of quite high priority. So let's just check on some of the things we have not yet built the new. We haven't built the heater here. All that, so we're going to continue working the way we have been up to now. We'll get that sorted. I'm not going to rush a priority to bring all of this in, unfortunately. For now, there's other things that I want to work on. But we are going to deconstruct this. And then mine out this area all the way back down here. This is fairly important to us. Uh, we won't mine into... Oh, uh, well, yeah, we will mine into that, actually. We'll get all of this set up and expand out the rooms. And since we're actually doing it anyway, we may as well take it all the way over there, come to think of it. I think it'll be probably worth our time. Hey, Wirti, I realise this is actually quite annoying. Right, now, if we check on factions, they're still hostile to us. Close. We are actually close to uh, getting rid of that hostility. I think it might be that we can never get this particular tribe to be non-hostile. The ape men, for example, are more or less always hostile. I've been told that you'll never be able to uh, make friends with the pirate faction. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's, there are any uh, regular tribes people factions who would refuse it as well. We'll have to see. Right, currently we're researching electric smelting. I'm somewhat tempted to try and work... Ooh. Squirrel is self-tamed. Hello. Sorry about this, but we just don't need another squirrel. We've already got two, I believe. Or have we? No, we've got one. Okay, that's female. Where's our other squirrel? You're a male. Okay. Welcome to the... to the... colony. Go ahead. That works out well. We also need to actually expand Animal 1 now I think about it. For Animal Area 1, you are allowed out here where you can feed. There we go. Perfect. That works out well, I think. Ooh, someone's in a poor mood. Ah, really? Again? Being a scoundrel, you know. Right, let's have a quick look in storage. This is currently a cri critical. I'm going to set this to important. The reason I'm going to set it on important is simply that uh, I want meat over here as a high priority. This is set to critical. So hopefully my wags will definitely feed. And I'll be okay with that. Now there's plenty of work to be done around the rest of the fort at the moment. Let's get some structures built. Now again, we want... Space for a vent, a door, two walls. And draw this out so we'll have a 5x5 five five room. Then we want steel walls around that. Uh, apparently, 
we cannot get steel walls. I wonder why that is. It's possibly that we just don't, flat out don't have the money for it, but okay. We don't actually need to. We can use sandstone and well instead, or was I just using marble? No, I was using sandstone. There we go then. If we can get that all set up, then we'll extend out our living quarters a fair old way. Now, our wags will have plenty to eat, which is fantastic. Though I strongly suspect the wags will just eat the other critters in here. Like the chicks, for example, won't survive too long with the wags around. Hopefully not, but I strongly suspect that if the wags get that hungry, they'll just eat something smaller. Which, in a way, is fine. Because the wags are probably going to be more useful to me, all things told. Don't worry, Ewerti. We will soon have... A better place for you to sleep and because this will mess with my mind I'm going to expand that all the way out as well there we go there we are additionally I wouldn't mind it if this was channeled away there we go should all be good fantastic well as long as it's only a poor mood and not like uh, some sort of terrible soul-crushing despair that will ultimately lead to someone going berserk, then I'm perfectly alright with it. Now, what else is going on at the moment? Melonhead just wandering around, doing his thing. Melonhead, how are you doing with training? Uh, still at 5 of 8. How are the wags doing with training? Ooh, you haven't even been trained to beatings yet. Let's try and get that set up. Everyone chilling out. It's fine. It's fire burning out of control. Thank you very much for putting it out. That will continue to get annoying, but... It'll just have to be. Uh, Battery-wise, we're doing okay at the moment. We've got loads of wood. Probably needs to move that around. We've got a telescope that I wouldn't mind installing somewhere. Uh, let's find a nice spot. You know what? How about I pop the telescope out? Um, there's no point in putting it inside, so... On a starry night, I imagine my colonists would like to just pop outside their living quarters and stare up at the sky. Thank you very much, Rain, for putting out that fire. Most helpful indeed. As for this, I think it is probably time for us to get that moved. But let's go ahead and build the cooler there first. Yeah. And just because I can, I would actually like to have another wooden wall right there. Now, how are we doing for metal-wise? Uh, we're not doing too badly. In fact, if we had some more miners, this would go much faster. But I'm afraid we're not going to be doing that, at least not for a little while. There we go. Fantastic. You're going to earn your keep, it seems. Ooh. What time is it? Is it winter? Because this ground looks peculiarly washed out. Bit of a fog rolling in, maybe. Hmm. But we've got plenty of plants now, so hopefully our animals will be able to graze a little bit better. But this place is quite filthy. I'm not sure there's too much we can do about that, honestly. I'm... I mean, it is effectively a stable. It's going to get dirty. And we might just have to live with that. Bit of a shame, but, well, there we are. Alright, I'm sorry about this. But, I think I'm going to have to tell you to dis deconstruct this. Alright, let's have a look at these cargo pots. Ooh, very much venison. Yes, I approve. Let's get that in as fast as we can. Bulk of goods trader as well. We don't really have much that we want to trade right now. I think we're good. Got plenty of meat, it seems. Uh, again, Ewerti, it's probably you, isn't it? Yes. Of course it's you. Who else would it be? However, we can probably start looking to make some nice sandstone tile floors at this point. We've got enough sandstone. Uh, marble, no, but sandstone tile, yes. Let's go ahead and uh, set up some really nice floors in here. 
It's much more expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. Right, we want to increase the tolerated temperature up to 24. That should do. We are going to want two vents. Either side. What's wrong? You're really unhappy. Don't worry, we will have you a nice bed very soon. Very, very soon. You'll have your own room. It'll be grand. Trust me. Just don't do anything dumb, like get yourself killed because you pick a fight with one of our melee combatants. That would make me sad. Ah, oh, you did. And it was Keegan as well. I literally just told you not to do that. Why? That's right, Keegan. Be the better man. <sighs> Averti, why? Why have you got to be like... Pat Blanky did nothing wrong. Keegan, I would like you to... Drop this, maybe? Can I get you to drop that? No. Drop. Okay, Keegan, go and beat some sense into this fool. Also, please drop the longsword. You two. Beat them until they stop being dumb. Though, I suspect if you beat them too hard, you might exacerbate the problem. There we go. <sighs> well, at least you're not getting cut up. Think of it like that. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Can you please split up. Come on. Oh, Archibald's taking care of it. Okay. And you've just got a couple of bruises. It's fine. Okay, right, now we want this to be about... How low have we got that one? We've got that one at minus five. Drop this one down to minus five as well. It'll take some time. We will eventually get to the point where they are not constantly trying to pick fights with everyone. It's just going to be a little bit frustrating for us for a bit. Uh, we probably don't need two of these at that point. We can get rid of that one. Have we done that? Fantastic. So the same here. There we go. And then we can remove that one as well. That'll cut down on the power consumption an awful lot, which I'd be very happy with. Okay, thank you very much, Archibald. Oh, bad blanket, how did you get hurt? Got a bruise. Oh, it's because, yeah, they, they followed you and beat you up. Uh, really? You're straight back out? You're not in the right state of mind yet. I wish you would have stayed in there for a little bit longer. I might actually cut you up for a bit, if you don't. Right, okay, you know what? Go right there, rest until healed. To me, please, will you prioritize treating them? There we go. Are they okay? Right, okay. Uh, prioritize deconstruction order. Thank you. And then prioritize this deconstruction order. We will quickly get these walls filled in and then we're good to go. Shadow Wolf, can you work on this? Uh, hole in the steel will be fine. There we go. That'll do. No, no, come on. There we are. Now, all I need is to finish this one out. Finally, we'll be almost in a position where things make sense. Almost. I also want some wooden floors back here. There we are. The annoying thing is, Awerty and Keegan are my main constructors, so when they're down, there's a lot of things that I can't get done. Or at least I can't get them done particularly fast. Okay, who's Berserk? Oh, that's fine. We've already dealt with that. They're being timed out for now. Well done, Keegan. I approve. I don't even mind if you take a t some time out yourself to, uh, you know, eat some grub. There we go. See, Aberta, you do really good work when you're not trying to pick fights with everyone. If only you would understand this. We're not your enemies. We are your friends. Uh, we'll get that down there as well. 
I could extend the conduit down a little bit, and I think it probably would be wise to do so. We'll just run it. Hmm. We'll run it down like this for now. Actually, cancel that for over there. I'd rather run it down on that side because it kind of looks in line that way. Right, then we want some basic doors. And then we'll have one room ready to go. As soon as we've got some lights in there, we are going to need a very nice bed. There we go. Pull that down. Keegan, can I make sure that it's you who works on this? Because you are significantly better at doing it. Let's get that all sorted up and then finally a worthy he can have his room. Maybe that'll uh, cheer them up a little bit. Once we've done that, I think we'll probably be looking to wrap up the episode as well. Right. What quality are we going to have here? It is superior. Right, a worthy. This is now, I guess, your bed. There we are. And all we need to do is get the light in there as well. And a worthy should, fingers crossed, be fairly happy with that. Oh, really? A mad animal? Of all things, it had to go mad. A boomalope. Uh, okay, well, I'll quickly deal with this boomalope threat. Uh, where is Archibald? Archibald, how about you come down here as well? Uh, well, have you not be too far away from Tamiz, because that would be horrible. Shadow Wolf, not you. Bad Blanket, definitely you. Basically, I want only people who can fight a long range here. That boom loop is on its way. Slow down time. You've got your orders. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aha! You, you are fantastic. None. Go back. Don't want you getting shot. Or boomaloped. More to the point, maybe. Really. That's the main worry, is you'll be boomaloped. Well done. I approve. Right, you can go and do your own things now. Uh, you can pick that up if you really, really absolutely want to. But for the time being, things seem to be kind of getting better. They could still be very, very much better. But, you know, it's a work in progress for the most part. And I'm generally happy with the progress that has been made. But we'll have to see how much better we can do things in the next episode. I still want to work on the uh, primary battery bank down here. I'm much happy with the way that we've got all of the grass set up. But a lot more could go wrong and probably will. So I will see you in the next episode. But until then, do take care.